guys, welcome back or hello if you're new. I thought I would just sit down and film my makeup last night. I went out for date night with my boyfriend and I just thought it'd be really fun to film it. I was playing around with lots of new makeup that I just showed in my big Christmas PR haul. I also used the Naked Heat palette on my eyes and so I just thought it would be fun to do a little voiceover. I'm just priming the skin so all my textured areas and dry areas will look nice and smooth underneath the foundation. This is my absolute all time favorite primer, dare say. Um, it's so nice. It honestly makes my skin feel like a baby's butt. Foundation looks good all day over this. It's absolutely ridiculous and it's always sold out. So I think a lot of people have the same opinion as me on it. Like whenever I looked at Judy Free, it was always sold out. It took me so long to get my hands on it. And then a try and true foundation is the NARS Sheer Glow and it goes perfectly with Loving Tan, which is what I have on. This is like a week old Loving Tan. And it doesn't even look that bad. That's why I love Loving Tan. <laughs> love Loving Tan? Yes, I love it. It's a good name for it, to be honest, because I feel like I've never met anybody that doesn't love it that's tried it. And then I just use my sponge to perfect the finish. And I'm just taking a NARS concealer under the eyes. I don't really get a whole lot of darkness under the eyes and sometimes I feel like that whole bright under eye thing just looks silly on me. I just like to sort of color correct under there. So I'm making sure my neck and chest are all blended in. Then I'm taking my literal cocaine powder. I feel like it always looks like I'm about to do some lines in a hotel room when I tip this out. Um, but I'm just using that to set down any, you know, foundation or concealer around the eye area, just so it doesn't crease up. But I'm not going too ham with it because we are obviously putting eyeshadow on later. And I always make sure I set my little smile lines too, because for me, that's where foundation settles in. Taking my diffused light powder too from Hourglass, just under the eyes, I feel like this makes my under eyes look blurred and photoshopped so I love to just put this on even though I did already powder but it just makes all the difference in photos and stuff. For blush I'm trying out Deep Throat from NARS. Oh mum block your ears. It's actually a really pretty color. I just have the mini size of it which I got with all that Christmas makeup. I'm just putting that on I wanted like a pretty pink flush for a date night so I look like I'm blushing. Next I'm taking the face powder from the MAC Snowball collection and I was shooketh by this. I thought it was just more of a face powder rather than a highlighter. I was just going to put some on to see how it went because when you swatch it, it really looks like nothing. But it's seriously so beautiful. It's so pigmented. Look at that. Like what the heck? And I don't use like filters or any weird things like that on my videos. Like this is legit real life. It looked so Good. I don't know if this is sold out, but if you guys can get your hands on this, seriously do. It is so pretty. For eyeshadow, I'm trying out the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I only just got this recently. I picked it up from Mecca. There are a link down below where I got it from. It is amazing. This was my first night trying it out, so you can see I'm just pointing out what shades I'm using, just building up a bit of a crease color. I think altogether I used three of the matte shades in the crease, but the first one was more of just to make everything blend well over it. You know, it's one of those sort of skin tone powders, to be honest. But yeah, I really like this palette. I love my warm eyeshadows. So if you're a warm eyeshadow girl, I think you'd probably prefer it over the other Naked palettes. Was it the Naked 3 that was like the rose goldy one? I really didn't like that. I think I ended up giving mine to a friend because all the colors just turned out looking the same on my eye. They looked really washed out, even if I wet the shadows.
Um, so I'm just blending the crease and the lid together with another matte shade. This is more of a purpley one, but it didn't come out super purple because I was layering it over the brownie red colors. And I feel like this just looked so pretty. I took a lot of photos of my makeup last night when we were out on the date night and it looked so good all night. Like these shadows did not fade and they were really blendable. So I highly recommend this palette. I also put on a little bit of liquid liner just because I was going to do lashes but I didn't want an intense like pin up wing. I feel like I've done that a lot lately so I thought oh, I'll just you know put a little bit of something something on there but this eyeliner was majorly drying out so you guys should leave me a recommendation what's your favorite pen style eyeliner because all might have just dried up at once. For brows I pretty much always use a pomade. I really like the mellow one. The e.l.f. one, the Ardell one. I liked the Anastasia, I'm out of that at the moment. I think this one here was just from Mellow Cosmetics. And I use the EXO Beauty Winged Eyeliner Brush every time. This is my all-time favorite eyebrow brush. It is so flexible and skinny. I know it's for eyeliner, but I use it for eyebrows and it's just perfect. Then I just set my eyebrows down. Sometimes I honestly forget to do this and it looks no different, but I have pretty thick pubescent, wait, not pubescent, I was gonna say like pubic hair like. I don't know. They're just unmanageable, so I like to brow gel them down. That's what I'm trying to say. Then I'm using, I think it's called the Soleil bronzer from Tom Ford. And I love this one. It's really beautiful for building up a nice sort of red-based tan look on the face. So I'm just blending that in. I don't know, oh that was out of order, I haven't actually stuck on the lashes yet, I just put on the duo lash glue and I was letting them get tacky while I did my eyeliner. Now I've popped them on. This is one of the matte lip colours from the Send Me Nudes Christmas kit that I put in my Christmas PR unboxing so I wanted to give it a go but it was really light as you could probably tell from my facial expression. So I'm just adding some liner so it still looks like I have lips. This is probably my favourite MAC liner at the moment, I really like it. This lipstick was really nice actually. Didn't go too dry on my lips and it lasted really well throughout the night, although it did get a bit transfery at the end of the night. Like when I was kissing, it got all over my boyfriend's lips, which he was not that pleased about. But you know, beauty is pain, so deal with it. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just again taking some of the Redia Warmer Shades from the palette. Then I'm using my favorite lower lash mascara to just pop some little lashes down there so everything's in balance. And I think that's everything. So that was the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I do. I always get comments now on my Instagram photos. Please do a tutorial, please do a tutorial. And I know I don't make that many now. So I thought I'd definitely do a little video showing you guys the products that I use. So as always, leave me a comment. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.